Alberta as a province in Western Canada with an estimated population of over 4 million, according to 2016 census. I am Larry Ajayi, with you now on channel 1973.1 DT on people, places, and events. This is My City Speaks to Me. Here at the historic Bow Valley Ranch, Southeast Calgary, for the 114 year birthday anniversary celebration of our great province, Alberta. Today is September 1st, 2019, exactly 114 years later, and as such, we celebrate the 114th birthday anniversary of this great province. One, two, one, two, three, and 1888, John Cooley Brown discovered old sheep from the muddy ground. Carried in a gun, a sack that he found, helped his wagon wheel go round and round. Then produced 50 gallons a day, those who wanted and had to pay in. Part of lineup of today's celebration include Great entertainment from National Band of Navy Reserve. 2019 Alberta Youth History Award. Official Ribbon Garden Ceremony of the beautiful Poetry Garden. Congratulatory messages from members of Alberta Parliament present. And to cap it all, I'll be spending some time later on on this show curating an exclusive interview with an accomplished businesswoman and a proud long-standing member of Alberta's dedicated corps of community volunteers. Our province was built through dedication, innovation, and the strength of people who wanted to create something better for themselves and their communities. Yes, that's true. She's someone who has a great love for the arts and music, and has extended generous patronage over the years to a variety of programs and scholarships to support Canada's athletes and to first opportunities for women in amateur sports. You don't want to miss this part of the interview, so stick around. We'll be right back. Anybody, somebody, anybody find me, somebody love. I will come and tell every day of my life. I will tell like my bones at the end. Welcome back to My City Speaks to Me, here at the historic Bow Valley Ranch. This year's celebration of our brother's birthday. And I've got a wonderful, you know, marvelous uh, woman here with me that uh, we all know, and you all know. And it's an honor for me to be sitting less close to the Queen representative in our border. No other person than the Honorable Louis Michel, the Lieutenant Governor of our border. Welcome, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank so you very much. much. It's an honor for me to very have you. Very pleased to now, be here with you. Before we go into the few questions I have, uh, do you want to tell our audience the reason why we're here today? Well, today is the uh, 114th birthday of Alberta. So, in, 70, uh, in, in, uh, in September 1st of 1905, is we, when Alberta became a province. So, we are celebrating that today yeah this actual birthday we even had birthday cake here thank you very much now uh i have some few questions that i prepared and That's some of fine. the audience you know sending the questions and uh you know you're gonna just you know give us some insight to these questions so your honor from my little research i realized that you've chosen to make history education a focus during your tenure in office right. and uh you are also the founding patron of history and heroes foundation so why is Alberta history and education so important to you? Well, I do think that for all of us, 
that it's important to know where we came from and what we should be celebrating and be proud of because that helps us in the future um, on where we want to go. And we know that there's so many amazing people over those 114 years to be celebrating and including the present time. And that's what we want to do is celebrate these amazing people that have made Alberta so great. But we're talking about Calgary. And I will tell you right now that my grandfather came here from Scotland in 1903 before Alberta was even a province. Mm -hmm. And so for me, my roots go way back. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ma. Now, uh, I'm sure a lot of viewers want to know, you know, about your background before you became the Lieutenant Governor. Can you just tell us something, what you were involved in before you became the Lieutenant Governor of this sure. province? Well, to be, I think, a Lieutenant Governor, first of all, you have to really love people. You have to really enjoy people. And you also have to be willing to learn because let me tell you, you have to commit, you have to commit to five years. But part of for me is the learning that I, every day, I learn something new and different. I meet wonderful people like you. Thank you. That's really more the qualification is what you've got inside. Not so much all the other trappings about the labels they've given you about being a you know a chair of a the Calgary Chamber of Commerce, yeah. the chair of the Calgary Philharmonic. It's not about the labels. It's really what you're like inside. And that's what I think is the most important thing for a Lieutenant Governor. Yes, I care deeply about a business. Um, started a number of great bus and businesses. Uh, started out as a teacher, but then I actually ended up doing the first thing was actually selling souvenirs and they were the football souvenirs for all over kind of Western Canada. But this is where my business thing started and then it just grew from there uh, so that I went from teaching um, in the elementary, the high school, then into the university and then into the corporate sector. So I've always been involved in loving to work with people and teach and teaching the history we don't understand how important and how much credence we should give to our teachers that are doing this kind of thing and doing a great job of it. Yeah. Okay, now, so our next question, you made a brief mention about your dad from, you know... My grandfather. Your grandfather. Yeah. So the next question is centered around your background, your history. Sure. You know. Well, I mean, that's what's interesting, and we just talked about this, that um, my grandfather on my mother's side came from Scotland, but I was telling my own dad, my dad is from South Africa. So one, you also realize very much about what makes this Alberta, this province so great, is really the people yeah. that come from various parts of the world mm -hmm. that contribute back. And this is what I'm, I have to tell you, I'm spending a lot of time with our new Canadians. We're doing some wonderful new things here with welcoming new Canadians, oh. I'll tell you that. Um, also, I would tell you, I have a huge appreciation for the Indigenous people. We're doing an awful lot of work actually now in the schools with the Indigenous people. Okay. So when we start to look at everything that we have here, we know that we have to be able to tell the world how great this province is. Mm. And in fact, the city is because this is a wonderful, open, caring community here. Yes. And that's what this is, what makes us great. Okay, now lastly, what are you passionate about in life? I'm passionate about a lot of things, as a matter of fact. I have to tell you that. You know, I'm passionate about, about anything to do with the military, anything to do right now with the indigenous, uh, anything to do, I'll be honest with you, with anything at all in education. Because I do feel that we have to really look at what's happening in our schools. And that's where it all starts. But we also celebrate wonderful teachers that are going off in to be a teacher. And so yeah, yesterday I was with these three students and the question was, I asked them, what makes a good teacher? And it was very interesting, their answers. Wow. And that means being authentic. Yes. All of us have to be authentic. And that's one thing we discovered. You really can't fake it. You have to care. And for me, I care about the brotherhood of man. That's what I'm passionate about. Thank you very much. That's very amazing you know we are each brother's keeper now if i do good to you 
you do good to me. Exactly. You're building a beautiful and a strong community. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Your Honor. It's an honor for me to have you on this show, and I'm sure our viewers will be interested and will be very happy to have, you know, someone like you come on our show. For me, it's an honor. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Wonderful to be here. Thank you. Hello once again, Stella Mercedes speaks to me here at the historic Bovalley Ranch where we are celebrating the 114th year anniversary of Obada. So I read sometimes that you know, you've written some books, some yes. songs. <coughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a war matter of fact, people wonder where I get these, these medals from. And I received this first medal right here for reading a book that I wrote, for receiving for a book that I wrote for Alberta Centennial back in 2005. It's called the Alberta Centennial Medal. Oh. And a couple years ago, I actually received this medal from the Governor General of Canada. Love All my works as uh, for history. Wow. I thought it was interesting. They actually referred to me as a history wrangler in the citation. That's and that wonderful. day, I didn't wear my cowboy hat, and I think I should have worn my cowboy hat. <laughs> so, but I love my history, and, and there's so much history, and there's fascinating history to, to be had as well. So, just, it's and we're went, it's wonderful that you're you've taken interest yourself in your great program, which is super. I saw that you've worked with the mayor as well. Yeah. Mayor Nenshi, yes. and I must say. This is the most stylish gentleman I think I've seen in Alberta. I think it's almost historic right here. And I understand you're in the fashion business, right? Yes, sir. So you actually created... Yes. Well, good. I, I, it's sorry. part of my creation. Part of the creation. Well, I'd like to reach out to you to get some creation for me to wear. We'll work on that. How work does on that, that sound? Yes. Wonderful. yes. So, Kennedy, do you have anything to add? No. I think you got everything. You got everything? Yeah. yeah. So, Kennedy's just a great, uh, yeah. great supporter. Thank you very much for coming on our my show. Pleasure. Wow. It's been an awesome experience for me. And I'm open as well for you having a tete a tete with the Honorable Lucy H. Michelle, the Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, on this historic celebration of Alberta's 114th year birthday anniversary. Thank you for hanging out with me on this episode of My City Speaks to Me here in Calgary at the historic Bow Valley Ranch. As always, I invite you to like and share these videos and do leave a comment on my page so that I know that you stop by. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. Until I come your way again with more exciting videos from around Calgary on My City Speaks to Me, like I do it on this show, don't move a muscle, stretch, see you around.